But what is Bigfoot? The term Sasquatch is derived from the Anglicization name of Sasquets, from one of the earliest known native tribes in the southwestern region of British Columbia. In many of the native legends, the creature is depicted as generally a generally passive creature who, who has a surprising amount of intelligence, has caused them for, to be elusive from human contact. However, that's not to say there haven't been alleged sightings. The first sighting of Bigfoot was in 1858 when a fur trapper in the southeastern region of the British Columbia Territory. And since then, the phenomena of Bigfoot sightings has exploded, and this creature has invaded pop culture in films such as Harry and the Hendersons and through the Jack Link's Beef Jerky commercials. In our never-ending pursuit to learn more about the Squatch, we've reached out to some Sasquatch encounter survivors to learn their stories and hopefully learn more about the elusive beast. So please, describe your encounter with Sasquatch in as much detail as you possibly can. Okay, um, when I was 17 and I was walking home on the trail behind my house and it's a wetland area, very foresty, I was walking, minding my own business, and all of a sudden I started hearing these crazy loud noises coming from the underbrush and trees were moving and the shrubs were moving and all of a sudden this gigantic figure covered in hair came out of nowhere and there was just this foul odor this terrible smell it's it's n like nothing I've ever experienced before and all I remember is being pushed to the ground by this creature and I was just Give me your keys. torn apart the my clothes and then the creature got what it wanted and left and I realized then that my baby Ruth candy bar was missing and I think the creature just wanted food and so while I understand I, I don't think I can ever forgive it for the trauma it put me through so please describe your Sasquatch encounter in as much detail as possible Two nights ago, I was sleeping, and I heard this noise. I woke up, I convinced myself it was nothing, I went back to sleep. I heard a louder noise, so I woke up, and I got out of my bed, and I went downstairs, and there was a door that was just cracked, barely. I could see the light coming through. I knew I didn't leave the light on. And I wanted to run, but, I figured it was now or never, so I went into the room and I don't remember anything after that. Bang! Upside the head. I woke up, lying back in my bed. All that I saw were muddy footprints from downstairs leading me up. Yeah, I met Bigfoot probably back in uh, 06, maybe 07. He uh, showed up to my house with a pizza. I was just chilling at home. It was a Saturday night. Honestly, a really chill guy. I don't get why he gets such a bad rap. We just sat back, watched the game, had a few drinks. It was a lot of fun. I don't get, I just don't get why the guy gets such a bad rap on TV and the commercials. He's nothing like that in real life. Just, he's just a bro. After the break, we join Steiner Mickelson and a team of researchers to see if we can find any evidence of Bigfoot in an area known for being a hotbed for Bigfoot sightings. Hello, I'm here today in a forest that's known for its famous Sasquatch sightings, and today I hope to potentially interview two leading experts in the field of Saskatchewan. We have Christian Von Slitz, a famous Sasquatch caller, and potentially Chris, if we can find him. So, let's see, let's see if we can get some good stuff. We're here today with a very famous professional Squatch caller, Christian von Schlitz. Now please sir, I believe you have a demonstration for us? Yes, yes I do. Now please, before you do anything, explain to us what you're about to do and what it could accomplish. So what I'm about to do is, uh call the Squatch with his native mating call. And typically Squatches do this to communicate with each other when it's mating season. 
Now here's my demonstration. <laughs> wow, thank you so much. All right, we just got a fascinating report. Someone called in saying they just saw Bigfoot sightings in these very woods. So, let's see what our eyewitness has to say. Come on. Hello, sir. I believe you called in about the Bigfoot sighting? Yes, sir. I've been up here for four and a half days, and I have been looking for Bigfoot the entire time. So far, I believe that I have seen Bigfoot. Can you please explain what you saw? He was about a uh, yay tall. Not from the ground, but from the tree. Maybe a yay tall. Uh, he was crawling around on all fours, covered in a uh, brown fur. He started uh, yapping at me like, uh, yep, yep. All right, well, sir, it actually sounds like you saw a dog. No, this was no dog. These are Squatch Woods. There are no dogs living in these woods, but I do believe that there is a Squatch in these woods. Have you been a Squatch hunter all your life, sir? Yes, sir, I've been living in this tree 14 years. It's been a good tree, it's been a good home. Uh, I've seen, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find Squatch out here. All right, well, thank you, sir. Hello, and we're back. Don't worry, guys, I found Chris, our leading Bigfoot expert. Now, please, I believe you have some methods for us about how you actually identify where a Bigfoot might be hiding. Well, you see, it's not about trying to find the Bigfoot, it's about trying to be the Bigfoot. Bigfoot isn't some creature that we just don't understand, because if we don't understand him, we're never gonna find him. We have to be him, we have to communicate with him, we have to attract him. A lot of my methods, people say they're unconventional, but to me, they're worth it. I gotta meet the Squatch someday, man. The Squatch is the goal. You see these? These twigs in the ground right here? This big divot here? He's probably dragging a log, dude. I'd drag a log if I lived over there. You gotta embrace these things, man. Everything. These ferns, they're coming. This fuzz, this fuzz, dude. The fuzz. He's covered in fuzz. The trees are covered in fuzz, dude. It's all a sign. You gotta embrace him, dude. There's nothing wrong with embracing the Squatch, dude, because if you don't embrace the Squatch, you're never going to find him. I've got a whole team here. We're all ready to embrace the Squatch. We're all ready to get with it, and we're all ready to find him, because when we find him, he truly finds us. And after all these years, we put such a bad name on him, we really have to clear it up for him. All right, well, thank you. Let's see if we can go find a Squatch today, shall we? So, I know you claim to be a so-called expert, but like, what is your inspiration for getting into this field? <laughs> what was that? The Squatch. I told you guys, these woods. It's not fiction. It's not fake. He's here! <laughs> to make this up, you heard it, I heard it. This is clearly a Squatch house. Though, it may be a little small, probably had some kids or more for security reasons I don't really see any way through it's super secure there's only one entryway not a lot of gaps going on super condensed but you give me four days you give me three days heck you give me 12 hours I will find the squatch we will find this squatch there is a squatch in these woods mm -hmm.